Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve some problem from user defined function. So this is a program given in user defined function and we need to find the output that will give this particular program after execution by the system. So what will be the output produced by this particular program that thing we need to find out. So how to solve this program. So let's start. Look. Here in this program, this is our entry point function. This is our prototype. And this is the function definition. This is the function definition and this particular function is called twice in this entry point function. One is here and other one is here. That means now we need to execute the program. So let's start. So system start execution from main function. That means first of all system will create. <coughs> let's take this is our output part. And this is our memory part. So how to solve? First system will start execution from main function. That means first a memory block will create for the main function now now inside this main function the first instruction is integer x that means system will allocate a memory block for variable x let's say the address is 2011 and initialized with 4 that means here the value will be 4 now the next instruction is next one more variable is declared that means one more memory block will create let's say the, the, the block name is y and let's say the address is 2015 here 4 bytes is there and then here another 4 bytes is there now look at here y is not initialized with any value that means what system will give system will give a garbage value now again one more variable is there so one more memory block will create here the block name is z and initialized with again garbage value and the base address let's say 2030 this is our main block now what is the next instruction next instruction is y equal to abc plus plus x that means here in this main block we have y equal to abc plus plus x now look at here we have two things what is that we have two things one is call to the function and then we have pre operation so which oper which one will perform first which one will perform first look we can <clears throat> we can simplify this particular instruction as y equal to a b c then argument is x but before this x we have pre increment that is x equal to x plus 1 now it is now from this uh, from this instruction we can clearly say what steps we need to do so first we have to increment the value of x so how the value of x is 4 and 4 plus 1 that means the value of x will update it to 5 now function call will perform now how this function call will evaluate now the instruction will become a b c what is the value of x the value of x is now 5 now look at here whenever pre operation is there in the parameter of a function call at that time first system will update the value and then with the updated value system will go to the called function clear so now now this particular function will called so what happened from this particular instruction control come to the function definition of abc function now a new memory block is created for abc function and 
argument is received by integer a this is our new memory block for abc function now look at here in this abc when this when the control of program execution come to this function definition what is the argument the argument is 5 now this particular 5 is received by integer a that means inside this abc function a memory block is created for a let's say the base address is 4011 to 4015 now the value initialized with 5 clear so the argument is received by the instruction by the function now enter inside the function definition what is the instruction it encounter it encounter pre instruction this one is a pre instruction pre increment and and this pre increment is an independent pre increment this one is an independent increment that means what system will do system will by system will directly increment the value of a so what will be the value of a becomes value of a becomes 6 now what is the next instruction next instruction is return a that means here now system encounter return statement return with value of a what is the value of a value of a is 6 that means now return with 6 so where it will return it will return to the instruction from where control comes to this particular function definition so from where it comes here from this particular instruction that means from here control jump to the calling position with the argument 6 now the whole instruction becomes y equal to 6 now this 6 will initialize to the variable y that means now the well the value of y will update it to 6 and the this whole memory block will be allocated clear that means now system comes from here to this particular function definition with the return value of 6 now now we are again inside the main block now in this main block what is the next instruction the next instruction is z equal to abc x plus plus that means now in this main block we get instruction of abc as z equal to abc abc x plus plus now again we have function call plus post increment look here in the previous instruction we have function call along with pre increment look in this part we have function call function call plus pre increment now in this particular instruction y equal to abc plus plus x the main task of this particular instruction is call to the function and store the returned value to the variable y but along with this particular operation we also have one sub operation that is pre operation clear now in this particular case we have two things what <coughs> function call plus post increment now how to resolve this thing again we can simplify the instruction as z equal to abc x and this one is post increment that means here it will become x equal to x plus 1 now look in case of pre we write down this x equal to x plus 1 on the above of this function call but in case of post we write down the post increment after below the abc function call that means what happened function call will happen with the current value and then update the value of the variable clear so now what is the what will be the function call function call will be abc what is the value of x currently the value of x is 5 now after this function call evaluated and then the value of x will incremented automatically now the value of x will become 6 now the function call now the control jump to the abc function now abc int a
Now we are in ins we are inside the ABC function. Now but the parameter is five, and this particular parameter will received by the variable a. So here we have one particular. We, we here system will create a memory block for this particular variable a, and initialized with five. Now the base address of this particular memory block. Let's say this one is six zero one five to six zero one eight. 6018 4 byte 15 16 17 18 yes 4 byte is there now what is the next instruction inside this abc function the next instruction inside this abc function is plus plus a again it is a pre-increment and independent pre-increment that means system will automatically increment the value of a so the value of a becomes 6 now what happened now the next instruction is return so return with value 6 now where, where it will return it will return to the calling position that means here with parameter 6 now the instruction j equal to abc x it will become j equal to 6 now j equal to z will update it with the value 6 now here the value of z will update to 6 clear now again we are in the abc function uh, sorry now again we are in the main function and this particular memory block will be allocated as as the function as the control ex, uh, uh, as the controller program execution return from this particular function definition clear now what is the next instruction the next instruction is this one printf printf so where i will do it let's remove this one so <coughs> This is our output. So what will be the output? The output will be x equal to percentage percent d percent d and value from x. That means it will give x equal to value of x. What is the value of x? That is 6, comma, comma is there. Then y equal to y equal to percent d. What is the, from where this value come? This value come from this y variable. That means what is the value of y? Y contains 6. So it will give 6. Next, again comma is there. Next, j equal to percent d. Well, from where this j uh, percent d value come? For this value will come from the variable z. That means z equal to what is the value of z? z equal to 6. So it will give 6. So this is what we get result after execution of this particular program. So hope you understood the whole execution of this particular program. So that's it for this class. See you soon in our next class. Thank you.